What's going on guys, Balkan Architect here and in today's video I'm going to be presenting a new course that I'm doing this week and this is an advanced lighting family in Revit course. So I'm continuing on with the theme of advanced family creation in Revit and today's uh, this week's topic is going to be uh, lights in Revit and I'm going to be showing you two types of complex lights to create in Revit and all of the little tips and tricks that go along with it to create that perfect uh, lighting family. Now, as you can see over here, here we've got uh, this uh, cool looking, uh, basically a freestanding lighting family. And this is very complex uh, to make and it's uh, a bit difficult because it has light sources that are going in multiple directions. So let's go here into the 3D view and just to take a look at it. And if I just select this family, as you can see, it's just a freestanding family. And here we've got that electricity source so it can be plugged in for doing all of those electrical calculations of course that's something that a family should always have and here we have a parameter for the material of the light stuff like that but the more important part let's go here into edit family to open this family up and as you can see over here we've got two light sources so we've got one light source over here that's pointing down and we have another one in a different axis that's kind of pointing to the right of this family now this is kind of difficult to make because when you're creating a, a new uh, lighting family you usually get one light, light source so we need to create another nested family that holds the second light source in place. Of course uh, we need a connector element and then here if I go into family types you can see that we've set up all of those parameters, created a phot photometric web file so this is something that you would get from a lighting manufacturer. The idea, One of the ideas behind this course is to uh, just have a course where you can learn how to create a lighting family for a lighting manufacturer so just using this knowledge you can uh, seek out lighting manufacturers and become their kind of Revit technician for modeling all of the, their light products. Okay, moving on, let's exit out of this family. Let's go to the second project. And here uh, for the second project, I'm doing this recessed ceiling with lights in it. As you can see here, we've got these dots. And when this is all turned on here in the renderings, you can see that it looks kind of like this. Now I've already done a simple tutorial on how to do this, but that's really a basic tutorial. And that's something that maybe looks good for some renderings and for some simple projects. But here we're creating a dedicated light strip family. So basically what's different, you're not really loaded in one family and then arraying it a million times. Here, if I go here in this 3D view and if I just select uh, create a new one new family like this. So if I just go here to component, as you can see, it's a light strip family. We can just go to a face and just place it just by pulling a line and it will create a uh, basically an LED strip and all of these LED lights are at a certain distance so I've set this up to be at 10 centimeters but of course it can be different and you can basically pick pick up any place any face in the model so you can go like this place one on the ceiling so you can basically choose any face that you want and you're going to be placing these lights and also we've got some parameters so it automatically calculates the apparent load based on the length of the light uh, strip or the LED strip based on the number of lights in here and let's open that family up. So let's go here into edit family. As you can see, this is created as a line based family. Also, we've got an electrical connection. Again, this is something that's uh, made to be calculated over here. So here, if we go to family types, you can see we've got some formulas over here, just some basic formulas in this course that are going to help you to param create parameters for all of the necessary elements over here. And then nested inside of this line-based family is our light-based family for uh, every single diode or LED light that we have inside of it. And the end result is a lighting uh, family that you can use like this in projects. Now to get access to this full course that's uh, over an hour long, uh, check out my Patreon first link in the description for $15 a month. You can get access to this course as well as all of the previous courses and all of the new courses that I uh, do in weeks to come, you'll get access to those as well. It's kind of $15 a month and then you get access to pretty much everything that I have uploaded so far and everything I upload in the future. 
One more thing, if you want to get access just to the project files, so just these families, these project files, the family files, you can become a just a premium Balkan Architect member and for only $5 a month you get access to all of my project files. I've got like 200 files or something like that uploaded already and I'm uploading new files whenever I do any new projects. Okay, so if you want to get access to that, check out the first link in the description. Thank you for watching, please subscribe, like and share this video and I'm coming back with another regular Balkan Architect tutorial in a couple of days. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.